Hello and for this report we're back in our studio as we will uncover the latest Richard Mille timepieces presented at the 2018 SIH and let's quickly say that the brand set new standards when it comes to the ultimate polo watch. A few years ago Richard Mille produced the RM53 for superstar Argentinian polo player Pablo McDonald. This was already a tourbillon watch but with a very unique and for some, uh, for some people a strange design totally iconoclast. I mean it was a real statement. Its main design particularity was that the dial was protected with this kind of titanium hood and the hour and minute dial was in a certain way facing you as well as the tourbillon itself. I mean, so polo can be a pretty violent game and we see the number of scratches and impacts uh, this uh, watch has received over time. Every year we love to push limits, uh, whatever the sport, whatever the concept, whatever the universe is our bread and butter. Pablo had a lot of uh, boats broken uh, uh, here, there, everywhere. I think he doesn't have a bone that hasn't been broken. The goal for Richard Mille was to produce a watch that could take in the same beatings and shocks, even more actually, and the result is this new RM53-01. It's also a tourbillon, of course, but the movement architecture is kind of a mix between the RM12 and RM27, and it has this really quite spectacular suspended movement within the case with the cable system uh, holding it together. Something first seen in the second iteration of the Rafa Nadal, the RM27-01, and serves as a mega shock absorber system. I mean, the carbon case is made out of carbon TPT with these uh, signature uh, layers of carbon. Uh, naturally, it's pretty light, but the main characteristic resides in the sapphire glass protecting dial as Richard Mille developed a technology seen with armored glass but adapted to thin dimensions we're accustomed to in watchmaking. So basically they uh, machine two layers of sapphire from the same block of sapphire and uh, those layers are only 1.1 millimeter thick uh, which then need to fit super precisely on top of each other uh, and in between them they will place this little secret film that ensures this ultra strength of this little sandwich. So by doing so the face of the watch is totally shock resistant and they pull some pretty intensive tests to be certain about this. And as you can expect this limited to 30 timepiece uh, watch doesn't come really cheap but that's the price to pay to be part of the special Richard Mille club of owners. The brand also introduced a new feminine full black ceramic gem set watch with this RM07-01 and this uses a totally new technique enabling uh, to gem set materials for which this was previously not possible. I mean such as obviously this ceramic case but also their carbon TPT case well this is something we'll have to come back onto. it's pretty innovative. See you real soon.